everyone, Jane's Mansell here bringing you yet another video and we are still in the holiday season. <laughs> yes, I'm so glad to bring you yet another holiday themed update. Now I saw this in the comment section for a while now before Christmas even started. So I've decided to honor this. I'm going to be doing a Cindy Lou Who recreation or as close as I can get it with the materials I have around me. So we're gonna try and make this work, all right? I was watching How the Grinch Stole Christmas and I was thinking, wow, these wigs are incredible. I need to have that in my life. I had to have it. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna be using two wigs today. I have a blonde lace front wig and a blonde hard front wig and some wire and a whole lot of other bullshit that we're gonna see if we can make this wig work. I don't know what the construction deal is, but I have a few ideas and some gears spinning in my head. So we're gonna make this happen, all right? First things first. I'll eat your brains. I'm gonna get the wig head in here so we can get started because this is gonna be a long process. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, I am back. I have the wig all in the head. It is a lace front wig with bangs. So what I'm gonna do here is prep this wig for an updo because Cindy Lou Who's hair is an updo. So I am going to look at what we have here. I'm probably gonna do a similar thing to what I did in the Selena video. So I'm just gonna make sure these things are pinned in the nape. And then I'm going to flip her upside down and French braid her because everything is sort of like going up and spilling out and then going into like a bouffant on top. It's a whole ass thing going on there. There's a lot happening. So I taught you all how to do the French braid on camera for the Selena video. So I'm going to skip that portion in this video. So I'm not gonna say it's a be right back, but it's gonna be like a jump cut and then we'll have a French braid. So just like, ooh, wow, jump cut. Okay, I am back. Now, if, like I said before, like the last Selena video, it's not the best French twist, but it gets the job done, okay? I just have to have the hair out of the way and not have tracks show. So, it is what it is. Now, Cindy Lou Who's is more like two pigtails divided in the back, but technically you can't really do that unless you have like a full scalped wig, and I'm about to do all that work. So, I'm going to have the French twist, it's gonna work. Now, I'm gonna take a pick comb, and I'm going to just lightly pack this down because this is actually gonna be the stuffer for our double stack. Yes. We're gonna do a double stack to create that little bouffant that she has. But I'm just gonna lightly, densely pack that down just so it has something to sit on top of. Instead of using bubble wrap, you can just use the hair you already have. And plus, if I ever wanna reuse this wig, I can just take the teasing right out of it. It's not gonna be really harshly packed down. Just enough to create a, like a little pillow of hair. Now I didn't watch any videos on how to do this because I actually just wanted to figure out my own and create my own method. So we're gonna kind of wing it and see where it takes us. I also kind of had an idea of how this would work. So we'll see what happens. Okay, now that is a nice pillow of hair. I'm just gonna take a hairnet and cover that up. We sort of created like a little hair donut. And if you have a shorter wig, you decide to like put in an updo, that'll work too, a hair donut. All right, you may not have noticed this, but like the Selena video I did before, I did two ponytails. So there's one back here that I'm pinning down this section, and there's this front section of hair. This hair we're actually gonna use as decorative hair for, you know, the final result, but we have to do our double stack joint first. In the meantime, I have to say, I watched back both of those Grinch movies. Like I watched back the little cartoon from like the 60s, and that always holds up. I don't know what it is, that one always gets me. It's just like nostalgia of watching it every single year. And my parents were those kind of parents that totally would like put the VHS and the VCR and rip everything <laughs> from cable. So I got to watch it all year round if I wanted to because we had a bootleg of it. So let me know if any of you guys ever did that too, like with Betamax tapes or like VHS tapes, just record stuff off the TV and steal it. <laughs> uh, my family used to have a whole closet full of VHS tapes of just bootlegs they got from HBO. Cause you're paying for all that. You might as well get to watch it again. Life hacks, you know? Nowadays kids just download it all from like online. I'm that old, okay. So that is all set. Let's take our other wig. Now this one, I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do with it entirely. I should say that. We're definitely gonna tease it, but I don't know if I need to cut it or not yet. We'll see. Cause Cindy Lou Who's was kind of just like sticking straight up and just doing everything. So I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna throw it on top of there, pin it down temporarily while I zip tie it. Now, as you guys know, the zip tying process always takes me a minute, so I'm not gonna make you endure that. I'm gonna zip tie this down and I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, I am back. Now I have it all zip tied down. It is on there, girl. And it sort of looks like a ponytail, which is fine. You know, we're gonna tease this out now. That is the plan. This is gonna be a big bouffant going up and we're gonna try and disguise it with the hair in the front and decorate it. So let's just get her going. 
pack it down. Now I watched that movie The Grinch back and I remember seeing it when I was a little kid like the one with Jim Carrey and I didn't realize just how fly everyone in that movie was. Like girl, Christine Baranski's character, oh my god, she looked fabulous in that. I've never seen her look so gorgeous and considering she was wearing like all sorts of crazy ass cheap, like face prosthetics, she was selling it girl. Like she could tell she was living for what she looked like and Molly Shannon's in it and she's completely unrecognizable. I will say that like it is a kind of an ugly movie. <laughs> I think they really leaned into the whole Dr. Seuss aesthetic to give everyone sort of like a ratty appearance. And I was living for it. Now, I always like the story of the Grinch because it tells a really good message, you know, basically the importance of just having being together with your loved ones is what really matters with Christmas. Christmas doesn't come from a store and it's one of those very rare Christmas movies where it doesn't tie anything back to like religion or anything like that. It just tells a nice little moral that is digestible for everyone. Now I was trying to study how they did this girl's hair in the film and like I'm convinced like that had to be such a heavy ass wig for that little girl to wear. Oh my god. Like it looks like there's so many hair pieces in it. Like I felt for that little girl's neck. Like I'm sweating just trying to create this right now. That and I also decided to wear a full collared sequin dress while styling this wig. So it's kind of my own. I did that to myself but you know what? It is what it is. It's fine. It's fine. As if styling the hair wasn't enough, I had to give myself a dress that wants to grab onto everything. Also, you wanna hear some fun dramatic irony from me? I did that Ronnie Spector video, right? And she actually commented on the Instagram photo of the look. And I was so ecstatic that I actually tried to use Instagram's new features. So I slid it over to pin it and I accidentally slid it too fast and deleted the comment. <laughs> I felt like such an idiot. I was so angry at myself. Like, ah! In hindsight, it's kind of ironic considering she said I was a genius in the comments. So, you know, there's that at least. <laughs> okay, I am breaking a sweat. I'm gonna tease the rest of this bouffant off camera. I'll be right back and we'll start combining everything together. All right, I just finished out the teasing and you guys, I'm sorry, I don't normally do this, but my friend just called me and wants me to go hang out with him and he is fine. So I can't pass this up, okay? It's like months between when people actually wanna hang out with me. So I have to make this happen for myself. And yes, Ernie's coming along too. <laughs> so I'm gonna continue this tomorrow. I'll be right back. New luck, BRB. <sighs> well, that was a bust. Where were we? Anyway, let's get back to styling. Whew. Now I apologize in advance. I am not wearing my dress because it's clinging to everything, but I'll wear it for the final look, okay? I just want to be comfortable while I style, and plus it's festive. <laughs> I'm a cow, I love it. I have the wig all teased out. Now it's time to start doing a bouffant, a bouffant. So, first things first, I gotta cut some of the hair. Not a lot, just a little bit, because I know for a fact it's not gonna all cooperate with me. And besides, we're also gonna be doing a little bit of barrel curling with this style, so the layers will probably help me. And plus, when I start to brush it all out and smooth it, it'll start pulling lengths of hair back, so it's not like I'm gonna be stuck with a length of hair I can't do anything with. Oh well, pick those up later. Pins all over my toes right now. It's gonna be like Fear Factor now. Style a wig while you have needles poking at your feet. Okay, now I have some of the hair clipped. What I'm going to do now is gonna be a little unconventional. I am going to flip this upside down and start brushing it upward. Oh, how did you get untied? Did I just do that on my own? I think I just did that on my own. Just not even thinking about it. <laughs> We're not at that part yet. Get back tied up. Grip it like that and just start working it upward. Now, if I was still wearing that sequin dress, this thing would be sticking to me right now. And I'm gonna do this all around the wig until it is all sticking straight up like a troll doll. Oh yeah, it's working. Okay. Like I said, I am approaching this with an idea of what to do, but not necessarily like, you know, a plan in motion. So we're kind of winging it. We're making it work, okay? Like all my videos, it's very rare that I actually have a plan of attack. Guerrilla warfare all the time. Now I'm gonna smooth the rest of this lady off camera and I'll come back and we'll start doing all the styling. <laughs> okay, we are back. I have it all smoothed out in the back and I focus more so on the back here because this is what's gonna be seen. The front can be a little janky because, well, it's gonna get covered up by this. 
and it has to have a little bit of push, a little bit of pillow left there for when I cover it up and give it a little volume and can manipulate it. And I tied it off into a ponytail and I've been spraying it like hell with hairspray to keep it solid. And I put enough teasing in that to where it should pillow down nicely. It's like one, two, three, like a snowman tease going in it. Just spray that back. And we're gonna try and maintain that shape. Now, I know for a fact I have a lot of hair here, so it's not gonna be exactly like Cindy Lou Who. It's gonna be more like the elevated drag queen version of Cindy Lou Who, you know? Sandy Lou's Coos, that's who it's gonna be. Yes. <laughs> now, let's pull that back, and we're gonna finally take this down and see what we are working with here. Yes, okay. Now, when I was looking at the photos, her hairstyle is like a pullback high pony with like braids going down. There's a couple variations. They had barrel curls, some didn't, some did. Some really cute wigs, I will say that. And we have a lot of hair here, so let's just do something inspired. Now I'm gonna do something here that is gonna be reminiscent of the hairstyle. Now I'm gonna put some pins here because I wanna pull some hair down to barrel curl in the front and then have someone go back up for the ponytail because we already have a lot of hair right here. So we don't really need all of it going all the way up there. And we're gonna do is some more cutting and layering. I'm gonna try and get it as close as I can, but also like fit my frame because it was made for a little ass girl, so. <laughs> The hairstyle is not going to look as good on me as it did on her. So I'm going to try and get as close as I can to this. And what I'm doing here is sort of forming a headband with hairpins going all around it so that we have this pulled back and we have a base to tack our barrel curls back onto. I'm just going to do that all around, smoothing it back and pinning it back. Creating sort of like a faux pony. Whew, girl, I am pulling in sweat right now. I'm gonna take a break to pat off my face. I'll be right back with the haircut. <laughs> okay, I am back. Now I'm gonna start the barrel curls. I got a couple right here started, just to give myself an idea of how I'm gonna do it. With straight hair, it's a bit more of a challenge if it doesn't have a curl in it already, but it's not impossible. So what you do is, I like to spray it a bit. You brush through and just back comb down a little bit of the hair, just to give it something to like cling on to. Then, I like to get the tail nice and wet and under roll it and hold a tight grip on this because those hairs are gonna wanna fly everywhere. And eventually it'll just start hooking down to the underneath of the hair. And you just kind of push it into place. And with the quickness, you pin this sucker down. Cause it's not like a curl barrel curl where it has a lot to hold on to, and it's already in like a shape. These ones are kind of forcing them in place. And I'm probably gonna do them a little rushed here. And then when I'm done, I'm, like when I'm doing my final stuff off camera, I'll probably primp them for the final look. But I'm just giving you an idea of how they should look. We are on a fixed time frame right now, but I'll smooth them out after we're done. Because honestly, all you do is take it right down and smooth it. But this hairstyle requires a lot, so we're just gonna keep moving. So, do this and that. Get our tail wet. Don't need all that now. Okay. She's getting pretty Cindy Lou Who so far. I like it. We're doing like the adult contemporary version. Sexy Cindy Lou Who. <laughs> Okay, we're almost done. We just gotta do the ponytail and add the braids. And the braids are gonna be a lot of fun. I can't wait to show you that. Decorative barrel curls, loves it. I love this one's like a parody on like a Marie Antoinette kind of style, like a little girl Marie Antoinette. Just how like grand it is and over the top. Like they really had a lot of fun doing the wigs for this movie it seemed. Like it had to be like a hairdresser's dream to be able to work on wigs for the Grinch. All these great fantasy styles that you don't normally get to do. Like there is like the wrong direction to go with it. It's like the hair is supposed to look absolutely insane. All right, last one. <laughs> All right, I am back. Now this is gonna be a pain in the ass to try and do on camera. So I braided a switch. It's just some wefting that I put into a braid. I cut it in half and braided it. And I'm gonna take some wire that I actually got from Annie Hart. She does like these cage building classes and she sells cage making kits and it comes with like the special wire for making hair cages. So I'm gonna take some of this wire and I'm gonna cut a little bit of it. I'm just gonna measure it out to the same size as the braid and just cut it. Now from like the stuff I've seen people do, they aren't necessarily doing this step, but I wanted more of some hair I could manipulate. So, all right, so what I'm gonna do here is take some wire and I'm gonna shove it right through which is exactly what I did. I did one of them off camera. I'm gonna do this one for you. Just shove it on in. And it's really not difficult because the hair is thick, so it's just gonna blend together. I was trying to do this where I like braided a small bit of braid, like something this small, and it was, it was not working. <laughs> it was not the tea, so I had to like do a little bit of like rethought on what I was gonna do here. 
And I think I finally found a method that works. Brainstorming, using my noggin, stick her on through. Get out! Just get in there already, god damn. Okay, taking your goddamn time, there you go. Shove her on down, and if she's a little messy, just spray her hairspray. Oh, reach around, okay. Now I have a braid I can manipulate. Now, what I'm going to do here is, I'm gonna take this little bit of wire here and wrap it around the hair. So that way I also have something that I can bobby pin, just like that, okay. Now it is a little switch that's bendable. Now she had like crazy like hair switches going like here and here. So I wanna do something like that. Now the one I'm doing right now is sort of a combination of both. Like she had one that was like her on the go hair with barrel curls on the front. And she had her like casual hair, which had the little switches down. So I'm gonna kind of like mash those all together and create my own Cindy Lou Ho kind of look. Pin her in like that. Fantastic. And you have like a little crazy ass pigtail you can play around with and manipulate. This hairstyle is a bit of a challenge. <laughs> I've never done anything like this before on my channel. It requires like this many different kind of hairstyling techniques. And it, the good thing about this is like, there's no right or wrong way to do a who hairstyle. They're all kind of crazy and like out of this world. And the crazier you get with it, just the more successful you are at it. All right, do the other side and stuff those on in there. Love it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go through and bobby pin these a little bit more. But in the meantime, like this is the idea I have where it has the pigtails sticking out like that. Let's move on to the top before I fuss around with this at the very end of it. So what I'm gonna do at the top is I got my scissors again, and this is way, 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 way too long. So I'm gonna take my brush and just brush through it a tiny bit. And we're gonna do a little bit of like faux barrel curls. But we're also gonna do some cutting and layering. And this is gonna be my drag version. Like the original one was a lot smaller and I don't do small hair on this channel, okay? And y'all see me do this before with the Selena hairstyle. It's the same thing. Just taking it, under curling it and rolling it down. <laughs> okay, I am back. I have the back all the way I want it and I've been using hairspray to smooth it all down to get it nice and smooth. I also redid these barrel curls to make them smoother as well. Now, we just need to trim these bangs a little bit. Now, I'm gonna do something a little unorthodox that I've been seeing a lot on social media. I'm gonna use a razor and cut the bangs. <laughs> and no, this razor has not touched my no-no bits yet. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, use the Manscaped razor. And I'll be damn, that's actually working. I thought this was bull when I saw it, but it actually does work. <laughs> You don't care what's done on the other side. Okay, after this, we have one last thing and it's super, super easy. Now, to cover up the nape of the head, I could add like a braided switch or I could do what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna take a bow that I got from Family Dollar and turn it around and just pin it right there in the back so you get that nice little decorative festive touch. So let's just put that in with a bobby pin and this look will be done. I gotta try it on and see how it looks on my head. So let's just secure our little bow bow back there. Bobo, here we go, Let's get a little tap there. There we are, bow. <laughs> Cute, oh my God. It is a Cindy Lou Who all grown up. Yes, I'm gonna be right back, I'm gonna try her on and I'll be back with the final results. Christmas time. <laughs> Welcome back, this is the final result. And oh my God, I'm kind of obsessed with it. Like there's so much going on in this hairstyle and I know I'm on borrowed time right now. <laughs> like this hair is so, I gotta be so cautious with it, okay? <laughs> It's actually a lot heavier on my head than I thought it would be, but it is really, really fun. I'm definitely serving you like Cindy Lou Who, but like at her sweet 16, yes. <laughs> She's all grown up and bad. I love it, oh my God. Hair hopper Cindy Lou Who, I'm obsessed. This hair is fabulous, but it is just missing one more thing. The James Mansfield Magical Wig Spray from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. Let's just give this wig a spritz. Now my hair smells just like cream soda. Available at blackphoenixalvilab.com, which is great because it looks like a roast beast. <laughs> and grooming can be an absolute drag, but thankfully I have, as you already know, thanks to my bangs, Manscaped. <laughs> Use my code JAMES20 for 20% off your order plus free shipping. And I need to take a moment, a Venmo, moment where I thank everyone who's tipped me on Venmo. I would like to thank, I would like to thank Keith, Melissa, Sergio, Norman, Amy, James, great name, 
Burwald, Ras, thank you so much, Ras. Merry happy to you too. As well as PayPal Anonis from Rodrigo, Audrey, Brandon, Cherish, and NMQ Sales. Whatever your name is, let me know down below. It doesn't say your note or anything, but thank you so much, sweetheart. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you too. Now, I enjoyed making this so, so much. This is a lot of work. It was a bit of a challenge, and I. I'm glad I took a break to think about it and do this. Like that extra time actually really did help me like with my approach for what I was gonna do with this hairstyle. So I feel like it really worked out. I love that you guys suggested this. If you have any more hair suggestions, leave them down below. I'd love to take more stuff on. This is actually a really, really fun challenge. And I think I executed it to the best of my abilities. Now don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye. Hit the outro. Click here and watch my Ronnie Spector Beehive wig transformation or it's my RuPaul Party City wig revisited. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll write a tell-all book about your torrid love affair with pizza rolls. So click it.